Good morning. Um, oh, it's still morning. It's 1130 here. Uh, this is Laura and I am learning, let me adjust you for a minute. I am learning something new. Um, so I thought I would take you along. There we go. And this little white piece of paper will help me, um, stay in frame. <laughs> a little washi tape to tape it down and then I'll get started. So I am learning how to do little um, fabric hexes and there will be more. I'm sure there are way better tutorials than this one, but I'm a newbie and sometimes it's nice just to see um, someone who's learning something for the first time so that you don't get discouraged because these are the two I made. This was my first one. And um, the only thing I didn't do, I used glue, uh, this little glue stick. It's a sew line glue stick. And um, so I used that and I poked little holes in here but when I went to pull out the paper, I realized I had not really basted these edges down. So I can still do that. I just stopped because my stitches, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. My stitches are, they show, and this was my first one, and they were kind of messy. <laughs> um, stitching and I don't mind if the stitches show but I at least want them to be consistent and these were very inconsistent I think this this one where did I join the first one I don't know but you can really see like right there just I don't know it didn't look good so then I did another one um, these vintage fabrics come from a shop called tiny home treasures on Etsy. Um, the owner is Joan and she has wonderful little calicos in all different um, colorways. So I always get my stuff from her because I like her. So this one I think was a scrap pack from a either a quilter or some some sewer uh, Maybe Cheryl um, at C, I don't know how she says her name. Is it Jagger or Jagger? It could be Jagger. I don't know. Um, or Michelle from Michelle Patterns on Etsy because I know uh, she also has little scrap packs from time to time. And when I say little, I'm talking, you know, little, like a deck of cards, little. So, um, pieces of fabric, which I like because I run out of room storing fabric. So this one is a little bit better. The stitches at least are a little more even, uh, but you can see them. I don't, to me, this side was probably my best side right there. They're the most consistent. If they all look like that, I would be pleased with that. So here is my first little hexi that I did. I found these, um, these are half inch hexagons and I found a digital download of a whole sh piece of paper of them so I can just print as needed uh, and then cut them out. This is what the print looks like. So I just use my paper trimmer and just cut out a strip at a time just because I don't really want little paper hexes flying all over. But I will just, so that's my first one and I'm just basting right now. Um, if you can see 
all the little basting stitches that it holds the corners down. And I did use my sew line glue, but just a small dot in the center instead of basting down all of these flaps. I didn't like that. And this is actually quick and it's way more secure in my opinion. So, well, there you go. So you just take a little sheet of paper, a uh, sheet, a little piece of fabric. You don't need a lot. Glue down your um, template or template. Some people say template. Is that the right way to say it? I've always said template, but maybe it's template. Maybe it's it's just because I'm a Texan. I don't even know. Um, but whatever, template, template, whatever you want to call it, it's fine by me. And just give yourself a good little um, margin. It's not going to be, I mean, this is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a lefty, um, so you need to thread your needle. This is my needle. And I just have white sewing thread. I'm going to do... Um, several knots and um, to secure it and I know I do them independently I know some people will do it all at the same time but I always I don't know so I guess I'll do four let's do four so it doesn't pass through um, the fabric and then there's my scissors I'm gonna just take the tail. Alrighty. Oop. Just make sure you're you have enough thread. And then you start by folding over two sides and make a nice little sharp corner. And you don't pierce the paper. You just get grab the fabric. Pull it through and grab it again. Let's see. And as you're as you're coming through, you can do once or twice. Um, I just do once through, like put your needle through that loop to kind of make a little knot. And then you go to the next side and fold down the flap. Some of the tutorials I've watched have been people in their car, like on the passenger seat of their car, working on these. And I get way too seasick or car sick or land sick or whatever. I get dizzy and I don't, I just, it uh, doesn't work for me. So there you go, oops except I did not go through. If you don't go through, just go and, and catch it. And you can, you can, oh wait, I think I did go through. Huh. There. I'm just gonna double up. I feel like this, this stage is pretty forgiving. Um, you just want nice, crisp, you know, lines to your hexi as you're, stitching. Um, so I go through and then I go through again. And I pull my oops, pull it through to knot it. Is it naughty? No. Maybe that's why they do it twice. Well, let's just do it twice. Why not? And pull it. You can do it twice. Um, all right. So how are y'all today? It's going to be in the upper 80s one day in the 90s. This week, our mornings have been kind of cloudy, uh, but relatively cool for where I live in Texas. And so I've, my walks in the morning have been really enjoyable. And um, yeah, I'll just.
bonus due to. Why not? And um, so I take about a two mile walk most days. I think it is actually a two mile walk. And um, and I like to do it in the morning once the summer hits, like legit summer uh, for us. Sometimes the mornings can be seriously humid and the humidity will somewhat burn off for throughout the day. Um, so here's my last little, last little bit. So I am going to fold this one down and this one over like that. See that? All right. Is it even... I can't really see my phone, so I'm really hoping that I'm it's not blurry. Um, and so then I, this is the last little bit. So anyway, sometimes in the summer, I'll walk in the evening, like at six or so, um, because it is, uh, it's still hot. Um, and tends to be hotter, obviously, that time of day, but the humidity isn't as bad. And um, to me, it's the humidity that just is the worst. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the humidity in the summer. Um, I will typically, if we go, um, so we're close to Schlitterbahn. Um, like 30 minutes or so away and so we'll usually do Schlitterbahn once a week um, and look Ta -da! so now I have two I'm making two little hexy flowers oops and aren't those cute so you do not take this paper out until you have formed the entire, where did my good one go? Oh, here it is. Until you have formed your entire flower. So I'm gonna stop right here and then make a bunch of these and, um, and then I'll make another uh, video of how you join these up. It's not difficult at all. Okay. Oh, so sometimes we go to Schlitterbahn, and then when we get back from Schlitterbahn, it's cool enough for me to sit out on our little, it's not really a courtyard because it's not fully enclosed, but it's enclosed on three sides. So, I mean, it's really just a patio um, that has gravel, uh, pea gravel for the, I guess the floor. Of, of it and that's where I sit in the afternoon because it's shaded in the afternoon and we typically have a breeze most days so you can sit there and even if it's you know 90 some odd degrees you there's a breeze and it's cool back there because we have one of those sail shades and um and a tree that kind of shades it and um so that's really nice Okay, enough about the weather. See ya.